no, 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 no. Mm-hmm. I'll be hoarse from doing what I was doing last night. <clears throat> little laryngitis. Anyways, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my illustrious family. Welcome to the mental house. Uh, with me, your host, Khadija. Yeah, I'm looking pretty rough, so I decided to um give y'all a reprieve. But let me um. I want y'all to check this out. Um, and this was written by somebody, Jan Kauswick at uh, businessinsider.com. Mia is her name. Jankowitz. Okay. This is a business article. I want y'all to hear this. It's really interesting. Brianna Taylor's family have updated their legal complaint against Louisville police officers, according to the local reports. The family claims that the warrant on Taylor's apartment was issued in interest of speeding along the city's redevelopment project. Oh, my God. The Louisville Courier Journal reported. The warrant was one of five targeting Taylor's boyfriend, Jamarcus Glover, who her family said was living in an area slated for major redevelopment. Wow. Anyway, the area was slated for a major redevelopment project, the paper reported. The family says that the police misled narcotics officers to believe that Glover's address was a drug and violent hotspot, the paper reported. The mayor's office strongly refuted the claims, which do not constituent, I mean, constitute evidence. Business Insider has contacted Louisville Metro Police and the mayor for their comment. Brianna Taylor's family has alleged that the warrant on her apartment during the execution of which she was fatally shot by the police was filed as a part of a gentrification effort. Mm. Now that's according to local reports. Taylor's family amended their legal complaint at Jefferson Circuit Court, Louisville, with the allegation that a police unit had deliberately misled narcotics officers to believe that their warrants were focused around dealing with a major uh, drug hotspot. The complaint claims that a block on Elliott Avenue in western Louisville where Taylor's ex-boyfriend, Jamarcus Glover, was living, sits in the center of the Vision Russell Russell Initiative, a redevelopment plan led by the mayor's office. Glover's apartment, the family filing reportedly said, presented one of several primary roadblocks to the Vision Russell project. The filing claims that the five warrants issued on March 12th, including on Taylor's apartment, were all part of efforts targeting Glover and others in his building to clear the way for redevelopment. Oh, my God. Now, the allegations now don't constitute evidence. Really? It don't. But really, given the history of these uh, officials, you trust it? Public enemy said, "Public enemy said, I can't trust it. Can't trust it." <laughs> Gene Porter, spokesperson for interim mayor Greg Fisher, strongly denied these claims, telling the Courier Journal in a statement that they are without foundation or any supporting facts. They are insulting to the neighborhood. Members of the Vision Russia Initiative and all the people involved in this for years of work being done to revitalize the neighborhoods of West Louisville. The West, the Vision Russell Initiative is a project to revi- revitalize the neighborhoods of West Louisville. That's what Porter's statement said. Mary Ellen, head of the City's Development Foundation, Louisville Forward, 
the city's economic development organization, told local news channel three that the updated lawsuit is a gross mischaracterization of the project and said that the foundation had worked with community organizers throughout. She added that the foundation is discussing the creation of a community land trust to ensure investment without displacement. Breonna Taylor's death has been the focus of Black Lives Matter and anti-police brutality protests that have sprung up after the police killing of George Floyd on May 25th. The 26-year-old emergency medical technician was shot eight times when narcotics police executed a warrant on her home in the early hours of March 13th. Detective Joshua James has sought a no-knock warrant for Taylor's home after seeing Glover leaving there with packages and heading directly towards uh, a known drug house, the Louisville Courier reported. A postal official has since denied that Jane's office had verified this with the postal service. It's just a damn lie. Jane's has since been reassigned. Not fired, but freaking reassigned. Y'all hear me? Not fired. Not changed. But reassigned to go mess somebody else's life up someplace else. According to her family's preliminary statement to Jefferson Circuit Court on April 27, neither Taylor nor Walker had any criminal history of drugs or violence and were described by neighbors as quiet and peaceful. Business Insider has contacted Mayor Greg Fisher's office at Louisville's Metro Police for comment. But they did not immediately receive a reply. Hmm. I wonder why. This is what's happening right now, y'all. And I'm in the middle of a regentrification um, area. As a lot of y'all know, I live right down the street from Fiserv Farm here in Milwaukee. And um, listen, I'm ready for it. And I'm here for it. So hopefully we are ready to meet the challenges. Because they coming. But there are a lot of us who aren't. We ain't ready. And there are some areas that the powers that be want to expedite you getting ready by doing nefarious things like this to people and to move them out so they can create other spaces and, and these high power condos like I got all around. Mm. When Mike McGee was alderman, they wanted to start that stuff, and he wouldn't sign off on none of them projects. None of them. And he wasn't signing off of them unless they had a certain amount of African-American contractors in the vein of Cesar Chavez or uh, Nelson Mandela. If you want this project and y'all want to build something, no, we're giving this to African-American company. Something like what, how Maynard Jackson built Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta wasn't always like it is now. And anybody that's in Atlanta, they'll tell you right now, am I lying? What Maynard Jackson did for the city of Atlanta, y'all, that was the best mayor y'all ever had. And he's the one, that, to me, is full responsible for opening up Atlanta, Georgia. For black people, black contractors, and y'all need to pay some homage to Maynard Jackson. We don't got nobody like that in Milwaukee. We got Tom Barrett. Anyway, what y'all think about that story I just read? Y'all think it's any truth to that that Breonna Taylor 
and her apartment was part of a gentrification drive. Wow. I'm telling you, how can you not yell out from the top of your lungs that black lives matter? I'll see y'all in the next video.